All right, what's going on, happy people? My name's David Bell. Austin Crocker is behind the camera. I know you guys are like, what the heck? Deer Meat's not here. Well, guess what? Deer Meat got stuck in the airport in Atlanta. And so let's go run over and see what he's doing. All right, y'all, we may be about a day late, but we are here. We just arrived in Buenos Aires. Uh, sir, do you need a taxi? Hell yeah, I'm ready to get there. <laughs> let's do it. So. I was supposed to fly from Miami to Atlanta and immediately hop on another flight down to Buenos Aires. Unfortunately, that flight was canceled, so we're getting here right now about one day late. Good thing is, the transfer, the bus is here. We're gonna hop on. Got about a two or three hour ride to the Estancia. What's up, boys? What's up, man? All right. David Bell in the house, y'all. Hello, Hi. Now we're just gonna unpack. It's midnight. We're gonna be hunting in the morning, so we're gonna unpack, and then I will see you in the morning when it's daylight. For anybody who has ever hunted doves in their entire life, this is the motherland. We're down here in Argentina, and we're dove hunting. These thickets that surround the corn fields and the different grain fields are literally a heaven for all these dove. There's no natural predators and they reproduce five times a year, which means there are unlimited amounts of dove. That was a double. I really don't want to shoot any that are going to fall into the woods because I'm telling you, dove are one of my favorite thing to eat. And from what I hear, the, the head cook at the Estancia has an amazing dove recipe. So we'll see. Mm. I should have brought two guns. There is an unlimited amount of dove in this area. No matter what way you look, there's dove coming. Dude, look at the chicken in the field. The chicken could care less that we're out here dove hunting. He's like, thanks, man. These doves drive me crazy. <laughs> hey, them ducks are trying to eat your dove. So there are so many dove in this area that the ducks come out in the field and eat the dove. There's a couple over there right now eating dove. When you come down here like this, it's very important to come on a dove hunt first because you're able to really get a feel for your gun. So this is my first time ever hunting anything besides a squirrel. And I'm not joking when I say that. And so I was like, oh, give me the gun. I could do this, it's easy. It's not that easy, I promise. Boom, what's up, son? That's what's up? Shot, bro. Nice shot. Look at all them. Ooh -wee. When they come over them trees right there, it's just on. Just sit and wait and be patient. Sure, come you on. don't have to be patient long. Not long. Oh, that would have been a good shot. I shot the camera, man. Done. So you guys might be wondering why we're using an over and under when there's this many birds. Why not use a semi-automatic? Well, this is the only gun that we could legally transfer down here to Argentina. And uh, so here we are. Boom. Got him. That's three in a row he's got. This dude's insane. Oh, he would do that. He flew right by me. He's like, peace out. He thought he was slick, but he just became part of the catch, clean, and cook. Ooh, what's up?
Say, hey, Austin, look at this. We're out here picking up the dove and uh, our ducks, they're picking up whatever they can get as well. So we literally just had the best dove hunt your mind can even imagine. The great thing is we're gonna clean them back to camp. This is Juan and I, I just asked him, how do you clean them? The best way ever. So if you're a dove hunter, check this guy out. Show us. Watch what he does with his thumb. He pulls the craw down, This then with his thumbs, he just pushes the breast open. Grabs it, peels it right back, takes two seconds, uses a knife, cuts it right there. Done. Perfect. Take it home, wash it off, and you're ready to cook. So as if the dove hunting is not completely out of control, when you come back, the birds are all cleaned, and then these ladies start cooking. I've been around a lot of dudes. This guy's like one of the best looking, most all around <laughs> awesome guys I've ever, I don't know if he's a GQ model or a guide, but this guy is awesome. And when it comes to loyalty, all of his employees have worked for him forever. And look at this. We show up, here's all our doves made into poppers. A lot of you guys have made dove poppers, deer poppers, everything else. What's your name? Como se llama? Suri. Julie? Suri. Suli? Sí. This is Suli. How long have you... ¿Cuántos años trabajo aquí? Nueve. Nine years. She's been here for nine years. And just the beauty of these ladies' spirit is amazing. She's got the dove breasts. They're cut in half. And she's using deer meat for dinner. Chef's knives, I must add. So in these poppers, they've got balsamic vinegar, beer, a little salt, a little pepper, yeah. some homegrown jalapeno peppers, some red pepper and bacon. Now, what you gotta know is the bacon here is not just normal bacon. This is like cured bacon that's locally grown and when you put it in your mouth, it is amazing. And what they always say is, you can't make chicken salad out of chicken poop, no matter how much mayonnaise you put in it. So when you start off with authentic, organic, freshly hunted dove, you've got the most delicious cured bacon you've ever had, a house recipe, and homegrown vegetables. When you put it together with love like these ladies are and cook it, man, it's just like over the top. And as my YouTube channel has grown because of you, we've had, we've had the opportunity to travel all over the world. We were just in Saudi Arabia. Now we're in Argentina and three weeks we're going to be in Saskatchewan with my wife on her first moose hunt. We've had the opportunity to meet people like Kiki and all of his awesome employees and eat amazing food like this. And I just want to tell you, thank you. Deer Meat for Dinner has never been advertised, it's never been promoted by anything other than word of mouth. You. So I tell you thank you. Now she's going to cook it. Now she's going to skip. Okay. Vamonos. Yeah, buddy. So it, it seems like it's really hot. Now, this basically is just an appetizer. We hunted the doves yesterday cleaned them, they prepared them, and then this morning we were out duck hunting. It was the most amazing duck hunt I've ever been a part of in my entire life. We were just in the blind, we had ducks of every species. Literally today, today, in the blind, I saw silver teal, cinnamon teal, ring teal, brown pintail, white cheek pintail, rosy bill, and tree ducks. With my own eyeballs, within shooting range, I saw seven different species. We really focused on hunting the rosy bills and the pintails. And I also got one tree dot. And the reason you can see it is because we're hunting on a marsh that's over 7 million acres in this area alone. The marsh runs for 700 miles 
It's nearly 40 miles wide and it is slap full of ducks. Like they don't migrate out of it, they live there. It's a complete breeding stock. So the handful of ducks that they harvest here, it's just a drop in the bucket. You wanna see that duck hunt click? Right there. Check this out. As soon as you get done with your duck hunt, you come back and you're eating a fresh appetizer of the duck that we, or of the dove that we killed yesterday. It's just a perfect scenario. When we, look at this, hold on, pan back, look. This is what happens when you're filming. Next thing you know, they, they smell all this good food and everyone yeah. just starts showing up. Well, I will they shut up so we can right, eat. Come here, come here, come here. So you guys, this is Mr. Chris. This is Chris Wisecarver. I met him about 10 years ago, hunting with all the guys from Burris Optics. He owns sportoptics.com. And this guy is the epitome of cool, man. He's always just in control and a great guy. And about a month ago, he called and said, hey, I'm going down to Argentina, would you like to go? And that was one of the coolest invites I've ever gotten in my entire yeah, I'm life. I'm so glad you're here. I, these people down here are just super special. This is such a great place. So in this, we've got olive oil, balsamic vinegar, black pepper. It's just a home recipe that's going on these doves and it smells amazing. Put my name on that one right there, y'all. Man, I sure wish you were here. This is a bucket list trip of a lifetime and I thank God I'm here. All right, you guys, Mr. Chris, thank you so much for having us, having me a part of this. Mr. Kiki, thank you very much for everything you've done for us. It's been an honor being here. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you're having a good time. We've had an excellent time. <laughs> I don't you know don't have to hope. Yeah, I don't know have a better time. No hope. Yeah. This has been an amazing, amazing time. I want to see what everyone thinks of this, this dog. Absolutely. Quit hogging that territory. Pass that over. Yeah. <laughs> it really, it's it's a really, it really doesn't need it. Really this is what ties it all together for me, you know. There's millions of dove out in these fields. If, if there weren't hunters to hunt them, they would so overpopulate that they would die of, of disease and they would destroy the fields like locusts. So to be able to come down here and hunt in this beautiful country is such an honor. But then to be able to come back, clean the dove, cook them and learn a new recipe and enjoy them amongst friends, it is absolutely perfect. It's what hunting is all about. I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We're going to be hunting perdi, ducks, and maybe even a nutria. Stay tuned. I guarantee you there's going to be a lot more. But for today, that's all I got. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.